Well, it's December at the clearing, and uh, you can't tell by looking at the ground. We haven't had much snow at all yet, but it's cold. The winter is here, and we thought for this month we'd talk about the clearing's meadows, starting with the one that everybody knows, the, uh, the homestead meadow, the big meadow that everybody drives through as they drive through the property to the guest parking lot. Uh, a lot of people think this is the clearing. Uh, because uh, it is a big clearing, uh, but the clearing is meant to be something uh, in your mind, not a physical space. This is the Homestead Meadow. Uh, Jensen named it that to honor the early settlers at the clearing. This was once farmland, and then part of Jensen's design for the property was to maintain this large area as an open meadow. Uh, and behind us, looking toward the uh, northwest, there's a cut in the woods we'll show you later where you can see the lodge. You can look down from the lodge through this meadow and back from the bottom of the meadow up to the lodge. But the sun rises on the winter solstice at the bottom of this meadow. You can see it from the lodge. So that was part of Jensen's design for the property. This wants to be, all these meadows at the clearing want to be a forest. They want to be a maple beach uh, hardwood forest. So in order to maintain it as a meadow, you have to stop plant succession at a certain point. Uh, we mow most of it, uh, the lawn area, uh, in late summer, early fall every year uh, in anticipation of our big uh, clearing uh, annual picnic where we sent a tent up over to the north end of the meadow and then we park in the moat area to the south. But 25 years ago, Eric and I decided that we uh, would let the, uh, the junipers grow for a little while. See what this turned into if we let these common junipers. It's, it's the most common, uh, probably the most common plant in Door County, most common shrub. And we didn't mow it uh, in 2000 and we decided the next year we wouldn't mow it again. And the junipers came back in several patches. There's the big one in the middle of the property. You can see one way down at the south end uh, of the meadow. There's one behind us, and there's a small one over here on the west edge of the meadow. Uh, and we like the way that looked. That's good for uh, any ground nesting, ground feeding birds, place to escape. But the problem with letting the junipers go is, is the trees want to come up in those junipers because it wants to be a forest. So we have to go in every now and then and cut the emerging trees out uh, so it doesn't turn into, because we want to keep this as a meadow, keep the forest out. So we're essentially planting, uh, stopping plant succession at this point. Uh, but we do want to maintain uh, this, especially this meadow at the clearing, which was such an integral part of Jensen's design for the property, the Homestead Meadow. We're a couple hundred yards directly east of the Homestead Meadow uh, in what we call the Inner Meadow. Again, once upon a time, farmland. Uh, but since farming ended at the, on this property, probably somewhere around World War I, uh, it's reverted back to forest mostly, but Jensen kept this inner part uh, uh, right in the middle of the property as a meadow. Uh, and again, it wants to be forest, so we have to keep the trees out somehow. The volunteers, our, our Thursday volunteer crew, did a lot of work on this meadow. I think it was three years ago, two, three years ago. We took out uh, all the young trees that were coming up, of course. We cut those down and treated them with an herbicide to, to prevent re-sprouting. And they took out several, uh, quite a few dead junipers. And then we have somebody, a local volunteer, can mow this once a year. Uh, uh, between the junipers. Uh, again, it's it's a little bit different look than the uh, uh, that mowed part of the homestead meadow, but still a nice open area, very quiet, a great place for bird watching because uh, it's so quiet and kind of removed from the rest of the property. 
I've known several people who've come to the clearing for years for a week-long class and didn't know this even existed. Uh, they either drive to the Jensen Center, to the Visitor Center, or they walk a different route. So it's, it's kind of a fun place for some people who've come for a long time to discover. So this is the uh, very quiet, secluded inner meadow at the clearing. This is the lodge meadow, much smaller than, of course, the homestead meadow and even the inner meadow, but uh, very important at the clearing. Uh, this great view from the, lo uh, from the lodge down to the water, uh, from patches of juniper, of course, like everywhere, but with this great view of the three pines, uh, those ancient white pines that were already there and long established when Jensen bought this property in 1919. This is all forested at the time. Uh, it had all been logged and probably 20, 30, 40 years earlier, maybe 50, and it had grown back to primarily birches. There's a picture in our archive of all these birch stumps after they cut this view out, cut these younger, maybe three, four, five inch in diameter birch trees that had grown up after the logging uh, and created this, this uh, view shed or this meadow looking down to the water. Uh, I saw a picture from probably the 1960s, early 70s, where this was a mowed lawn. They mowed this for a long time, uh, but that stopped, I don't know how long ago. And we let it go back more natural, again with the juniper patches, uh, we've done some plantings in here, some native uh, metal type plants. And of course, because this wants to be forest, we have to every now and then come in and cut the young trees out so they don't take over. We did some work. Some work was done here back in summer to clear out around the hawthorn tree, the one hawthorn tree at the clearing, which uh, Jensen would have planted probably. It's not a native tree up here but it is kind of the clearing symbol. Our logo is a hawthorn tree. And that had kind of gotten hidden among some arborvitae trees over the years. So they took those out uh, just uh, this year. Uh, and we have a much better view of our hawthorn tree now. But between the hawthorn and the view of the lake and the three pines, it's one of the iconic views at the clearing in the lodge meadow. This is the last meadow we'll talk about. This is at the far northeast corner of the clearings property. This is the hay meadow. We still call it that because years ago, it's probably been 50 or more years, they used to make hay in this once upon a time hay field. But it has reverted to a patch of mostly common juniper. You can see they've already taken on their off-season color. They're green in the summer and they go to this kind of a rusty brown uh, for the off season, for the winter. So the plan here is to let Mother Nature do what she wants here. We're gonna let this become a forest again to succeed to a forest over time that will become a beech maple forest. But it is taking its time, I have to say. I've been here 25 years, 25 years now. And we've got a few trees here and there coming up, but not a lot. Um, so it's, it, it'll take a long time for this to become uh, a forest again, but it will happen eventually. So what, what was once a hay field, what was once upon a time years ago, a mature hardwood forest, then got logged off, became a hay field, and now it's gonna revert back to forest again, the hay meadow. Thank you.